The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, friends. Hi, friends. This is Sai. Sai Fanindra from SQL School. And this is a brief, a short video on how to restore an SQL Server database. Let's start, friends. Let's see now. Any database you consider, assume you got a database available, assume you got a database available, a .bak file or any extension, you connect your SQL Server, right click database, server, refresh, make sure your metadata is up to date. Right click databases, restore database. Make sure friends, we are connected to the database engine and once you are connected to the database engine, any database engine of any authentication of your choice. Right click databases, restore database. Device. Select device. Click on this ellipse. Say device, click on the ellipse. Add. Select the location, point to the location where exactly you store your backups. I downloaded the backup. Say Adventure Works or any backup of your choice. Say in my case it is product database, I got it pasted over here, I downloaded and pasted onto my some drive, e drive. Point to the location, identify the backup file. Point to the location, identify the backup file. Next. Okay, verify the backup media, click on verify backup media, make sure the backup is not having any consistent or health check issues, backup media verified successfully, done and now backup is a mechanism of restoring, sorry, backup is a mechanism of creating a standby copy required for restoring or recreating or overwriting or repairing an existing database. I repeat, backup is a standby creation. The standby mode is used for the purpose of restore and restore is a mechanism of creating a database. Database is not existing, I want to create it, I will say restore. Or restore is a mechanism of overwriting, recreating a database it's already there, but an older version, I want to get it upgraded. Or, restore is a mechanism of repairing a part of database. At the end of the day, recreation or restore involves data files and log files. So, go to files, select files. By default, you see the backup metadata available as restore as command. If required, you can choose a different path. I will say D colon. You provide the corresponding location. Say D or E or any other location or leave it to default. We can change the location of the database data files and or log files while creating the or recreating the database as a process of restore. I repeat, restore is a mechanism of recreating the database in some way or the other. So at the time of recreating the database, where exactly your database, data files and log files should be stored? You decide the location now. You provide the location. It's a recommended practice in real time you have the log files on a dedicated drive. Microsoft recommendation, log files on a dedicated drive. Well, it's up to you. You can provide your own location or just leave it as it is. So, checking the files, 
and changing the restore as column values optional and you simply click ok progress and database restored successfully right click databases refresh and you are able to see the database automatically here expand and you are able to see all the tables etc right click new query let's run a sample query select all from say there is a table called sales table in my database in my database there is a table called sales table say sales data table let me provide a valid table name and you get the complete information here all 60,000 records on this brand new database so this is how we restore an existing backup of a database thank you in case if you see any errors while doing so please do let us know nice time friends thank you very much